Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, Wireless Field Day number five. This is the Flu Network session. Um, we'll just uh, very quickly jump into the excitement of uh, today's topic. Just before we jump into it, a quick introduction for myself. My name is Cha Chi Kwan, co-founder uh, for Air Magnet, uh, and also a general manager for the Air Magnet business for Fluke Networks. And for our presentation today, we have four presenters, um, John Anderson, Dilip Badvani, and uh, Ilya Kasing to take us through the four sessions. Our agenda today, um, I'll do a very quick corporate overview so we get that out of the way. Then we get into the exciting announcement today, which uh, John Anderson will take us through. And after that, we'll do an actual live product demo so you see what we are actually talking about and the products behind the scene. And lastly, we'll give you a chance to kick the tire with the uh, actual uh, test drive of the product itself. And I don't have a Q&A at the last section, but I know the audience is uh, very brave and not shy. Please feel free to uh, ask questions, make it interactive. It's all welcome and we don't expect anything less. So without further ado, just uh, very quickly jump into the uh, corporate overview for Air Magnet Flu Networks. And actually, many of you may not know we are part of the operating company for Danaher. So I'll just go through that very quickly so we have a broader context. So uh, for audience here, I'm sure you are familiar with Air Magnet for uh, internet audience. Uh, Air Magnet is founded in 2001 in Silicon Valley and acquired by Flu Network in 2000. Exactly this month. It marks the four years anniversary, and we're very excited here to have introduced so many products and solutions and serve the industry. So we are now part of Fluke Networks for four years now. Fluke Networks is one of many, actually over 60 operating company for a parent uh, corporation called Danaher Corporation, which you may not have heard of, which is a $16 billion fast-growing company that is the legendary uh, thing on Wall Street. But you know, bring things back to our context today, there are about five platforms under corporate, uh, Danaher Cooperation, most relevant to us, which we are part of, is a test and measurement platform, which include companies such as Tektronix, Tektronix Communication, Arbor Networks, Fluke, and ourselves, Fluke Networks, obviously. So in the wireless context of this platform, which is uh, very significant to us. Not only we're a part of a very large company, a large platform, which is $2.4 billion in test and measurement. From the wireless standpoint, Tektronix, as we all know about it, is very leading company in spectrum analysis, in probe technologies, and in protocol analysis, which is very, very applicable and dear to our heart in terms of wireless test and measurement. Arbor Networks is a security company where it uh, provides solution and mitigation to distributed denial of service attack, which you know, we all know dear in our heart is wireless security, which we collaborate quite a bit and leverage a lot. So all these infrastructure around, which you know, 10 plus years ago, a no-name company in Silicon Valley, now we're part of this huge family, continue to serve our customer segment. So this is a kind of a quick uh, overview of uh, who we are. And last, uh, next is about the customer segment that we serve, both in terms of Fluke Networks and Air Magnet. We have three primary customer segments that we serve. The enterprise customer is probably the most sophisticated customer, the IT department that we serve, both in terms of wired and wireless sense. These are the IT department of a retail store or retail organization, healthcare, federal government, manufacturing, plan, and things like that that we are also familiar with and applies wireless for their daily operation mission critical uh, functionality that they provide. So we serve that sector uh, proudly and this is the most challenging sector to us because the user there is most demanding and uh, most sophisticated and push the wireless limit to the extreme. That's number one. Number two to us is probably much bigger to flu networks but uh, less to uh, air magnet or the wireless side, but nevertheless, we've seen growing, um, uh, growing demand there is the data coming installer. These are the system integrator 
and contractor. So flu product serving that particular segment is the cable tester, the cable certification type of product. What we see in that industry and customer segment is that that industry is going more and more into wireless, where at the end of the cable that they pulled and installed, it's an access point on top of it, or it's a remote antenna for a distributed antenna system, or what have you. So the industry actually intersect both in terms of technology and our customer base. So that's a very exciting uh, kind of opportunity and a growth area for the industry. And lastly is communication service provider customer segment that we serve. The AT&T, the, you know, the service provider type of company, not only we provide tools there, we as uh, Fluke Networks uh, provide tools for them, we also provide um, OSS platform and systems for them. In this particular sector, again, in the wireless context, is the carrier Wi-Fi. It's a much smaller uh, segment and market for the Wi-Fi industry, but nevertheless, from our experience for the last two years, this is one of the fastest growing industry, just in terms of both the number of access points that's deployed in this particular segment worldwide and our customer growth, revenue growth-wise, is just tremendous. That's an area I'm sure you guys have seen quite a bit as well. So this is the quick intro about the customer base that we serve. And the next is, you know, what do we actually do as Air Magnet? What's been guiding our vision, our mission, you know, our development in terms of serving our customer? So basically, this life cycle of wireless land management is something that we believe in, we taught ourselves, and then we try to build solution to, to serve the whole life cycle. What we believe in is a healthy and well-run wireless land typically go through these processes. Um, you design, you plan, you plan, you deploy, you survey, you verify, you maintain, you troubleshoot, and then you want to do 24 by 7 monitoring for both performance and security reasons. So our solution and we being, you know, encouraging ourselves to support the whole life cycle. And to complete the cycle, the one thing that we actually put a lot of emphasis on is we always bring people back to the design and planning. Uh, for many reasons. Recently, it would be BYOD. You got many more users than before. Do you need to redesign, replan your network? User has run new application, video, audio, and all this gaming, social media type of thing, create different demand for the wireless LAN. Do you need to redesign your network for it? Right? You have new technology two years ago, 802.11n, now 802.11ac. You need to upgrade your infrastructure you need to redesign. So we always see ourselves bringing customer back or customer bringing us back to the planning and design phase and the cycle restarts. So we don't do obviously like Cisco or Aruba or a company for carrying bits in terms of providing infrastructure <coughs> solution, but all the rest that we believe is a part of our job to provide solution to make a wireless LAN management uh, easier or uh, troubleshooting or monitoring a easier task for our customer segment. How yes. do you see Set. service provider Wi-Fi and license frequency impacting enterprise uh, wireless LAN lifecycle in the next in the years to come? Right, because we're seeing that we're seeing that line get blurred more and more. Uh, yet I I don't think we see the tools today in the enterprise space to support the license frequency overlap, if you will. Okay, yeah, great. So that is actually one of the things that we started to get expanding on our serviced uh, area. Basically, our vision is that, I think if you recall, we started, or many of us started with just doing Wi-Fi, protocol and analysis, 802.11. It's a unlicensed spectrum, so a lot of other technology come in, and we do see they integrate and or they interfere in many ways. So a few years ago, we had that vision, and then we introduced some spectral analysis to start looking into Bluetooth, Zigbee type of things to mitigate interference or even manage other wireless technology that's being used in the customer segment. Moving forward, what we're also seeing is more and more, both in terms of the customer base, the devices and the technology integrate and also intersect a lot. Your phone has both 4G, and Wi-Fi technology, right? And then we look into small cell technology. They have Wi-Fi and 4G LTE integrated into one. 
license and license integrated. And then that expansion is something that we are, in terms of this vision, we labeled it WLAN. We actually are very much having a vision about, not about just WLAN, but expanded into wireless, and not just 2.4 and 5 gigahertz spectrum, but beyond that. And I think over the year, you'll see the industry going that way as well, because wireless is just so, I mean, wireless then bandwidth is not going to be enough. And then the coverage, everything will integrate together. So we have this all thing wireless type of concept and vision in our head. I think uh, in the next you know, foreseeable time frame, you'll see our move toward that direction as well. Thank you, Sam. OK. My last slide for uh, corporate introduction is not to bore you with all the product that we have before Fluent Networks or after Fluent Network integration, but this is kind of the product portfolio that we picked out that's related to wireless. Obviously, Wireside product Fluent Network has you know, many, many years of uh, history in there. It's, I think this slide will not hold all the products that we have, but from the wireless standpoint, in terms of supporting the wireless and life cycle, this is all the thing that we have. So not to get into the individual product to run a commercial and bore you to death, but there are a few important things and themes that we see here. One is very importantly the wired and wireless integration that we are now able to provide and have been providing with many of the solutions here where, for example, 802.11 used to be very much wireless. You put it on the access point, but now with 802.11 AC, if your wireless run well, but your wire side doesn't support the bandwidth demand with the gigabit wireless traffic, then your wireless then is still not going to run well. And a lot of time, wireless then doesn't run well. IT or end user automatically assumes the problem is on wireless. Many times, it isn't. So the troubleshooting of wireless really has to be integrated with wire. So with that concept, we have introduced quite a few products for that. So that's one theme that we are um, trying to provide solution and have provided solution for the industry. That's number one. Number two is we believe in platform choice. As you all know, Airmatic is very much a software company. We provide software solution. Uh, Fluke Network is very famous for certification network tools that is blue and yellow ruggedized, purpose-built, you know, sturdy solution. But we believe in platform choice. You should be able to a, a choose the best tool for the job, whether it's software, hardware, running on the uh, smart device, or blue and yellow purpose-built solution, or it's a 24 by 7 monitoring device that's just a sensor hooked up in the ceiling. We provide all that, and we think there are many solutions, many combination of the solution that will fit the user's needs. So that is also one direction that we're going through and then going, you know, being providing to the industry. And you can see many of that uh, uh, products here, similarly to that. And last dimension that I would uh, like to bring to your attention is exactly what Sam suggested. You know, these spectrum. Is it just about Wi-Fi? Is it just about 2.4? Is it just about 5 gigahertz? Is it just about, you know, so our view is it's not just about all that. It's, it's all things wireless. We started by introducing Spectrum solution to look at everything running in that spectrum. That's 2.4 and 5. And should we be looking at broader scale? In addition to Spectrum, is there protocol analysis from the application side, video, audio, all that sort of things? I think in order to do troubleshooting to make the wireless thing run well, that's also another dimension that we look into. So this is kind of a kind of the behind the scene theory and behind the thing vision that we have and we've been executing for the last few years.